Welcome back to Detailing and the Beast. Today we're going to be looking at this, it's Tack Systems Anti-Fog. I had this from Into Detailing. Um, it's a anti-fog system for all glass on your car. Um, I'll show you around in a minute where I've got some quite serious uh, fog issues in the truck at the minute. Um, just that time of year when it being wet, uh, changes in the humidity and air temperature. Um, so just a little bit about anti-fog before we go on and show you what the problem is in this truck and how to apply it. So anti-fog, it's £8.95 from Into Detailing. It's 100ml of premium anti-fog coating, so it's sold by Tax Systems. It's for use on all windows, mirrors, any glass surface. And it says that anti-fog prevents fog from obstructing your visibility. Anti-fog prevents fog caused by sudden differences in temperature and humidity, which is what I'm getting. Anti-fog cleans and offers a long-lasting clear coating on your mirrors, windows, windscreens and lenses. It does not haze or streak after applied. Instructions. Clean your glass. Shake the bottle well. Spray on applicator cloth. Apply on glass or window. Leave for 5-10 to 10 minutes to cure and then wipe in long strokes up and down the glass. Do not work under direct sunlight. Okay. And there are no reviews on Into Detailing, so either this is very new or not a lot of people have bought it. Anyway, so the kit you get is this here. All the instructions on the back are in Korean, so there's no use there. Nice little seal sticker, tax system seal. A nice touch it's a nice little box to be fair you get a microfiber you get the anti-fog now I've just noticed that the instructions on this are in English now so that is a good sign we'll go through them in a minute wow and you get five suede applicators and a tax systems block now I can't see we needing five of them but that's brilliant normally this sort of stuff comes with nowhere near enough so we'll just pop that to one side for now. So long lasting anti-fog inhibitor. Clean your glass, shake well. 50 centimeters squared, sprinkle two to three times. Apply using suede microfiber wrapped on the blue applicator. Wait five to 10 minutes to dry. Wipe off with the microfiber supplied. Precautions, do not touch the surface after coating. Keep this bottle in a cool, dry, surface like it means place keep out of reach of children fine okay so we get 100 ml of product nine pounds and if it solves my fogging issue i am going to be happy with this so i'll now take you to have a look at the problem now the truck has been outside uh, and i've only just moved it in it's uh what time are we on it's just past 9 p.m at night so it has had time to go cold out there, um, and I'll show you what the problem is now with the fog on the inside of the car. So you can see a little bit there on the glass, just here, and you can see that's, that's on the inside. But the worst of it is always on the windscreen. Now, it's absolutely bone dry on the outside and it's really moist and wet on the inside. Now I have got a little trick for this as well, which I'll go through later. So after we've applied the coating, there is something else we can do to help this. But for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and dry that in the first instance and then use some glass cleaner just to clean it up quickly. So that's the glass cleaned. I've done the inside of all of the cabin. Um, if you wondered what that green cloth was, that's the glass cloth from Into Detailing. I'll put a link to that below this video as well in the description. That's a really nice finishing glass towel to be fair. Uh, gets rid of any of them last streaks, any last marks, any last bit of uh, glass cleaner. That'll sort them out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to video this window here uh, and then I'll go off and repeat the rest off camera just because it's easier to film this one. So this rear window, what we're going to do is we're going to 
spray some of that onto one of the microfibers, uh, one of the suede, um, and wrap that around the applicator block. We're going to hold that. We're going to spray onto this, and then we're just going to coat that that window, and then we're going to leave it five to ten minutes, as it says, so I can then work my way around, and then we'll come back and we'll buff it off. Now, little trick for you: these blocks, when you wrap the microfiber suede around it, you're supposed to hold it like that and it becomes, we'll put it in the middle Dave, like that and then you're supposed to wipe it on. Now these do move and shift so first thing you're going to want to do, Stanley blade and slice down that line roughly. So this is one side I've done here, and you're only going to go in by about maybe eight millimeters. So I'm just going to do that now on the other side, and I'll show you why in a second. So what we're going to do now is wrap that round as we would. But then what we can do is we can pinch it into the gap that we've just created and that holds that suede in place. Good eh? So we'll get on and do this one now, I'll show you how I'm going to do it and then after that I'll work my way around whilst the five minutes of curing happens. So we're going to apply this as we would any other coating, slow, consistent, and in a cross hatch pattern. And now we're going to leave that one for five to ten minutes whilst I work my way around the car. So I'm not sure how well the camera will pick that up, if at all. But you can see I've probably only used about ten millilitres and that's doing the whole of the inside of this cabin. So I've done the windscreen, the two side windows on each side and the rear window. I have only used one of the suede applicators, which is good because that kind of matches up with the amount that I'm using. So I think I will use all the applicators when all the solutions been used so that, that's a really good a good positive for this kit so all that can go back in there ready for next time I'm just going to give this a couple of minutes a couple of minutes longer and then we're going to go around and buff it all off now we're ready to buff so what we're going to do I'm just going to fold this microfiber into four and then the the bottle doesn't say anything about um, the buffing technique, but into detailing on their side have put something on there um, saying to buff in long up and down strokes. So that's what we're going to do. Now we may have to do some side to side at some point just to get rid and get in the corners. But for now, we'll do full up and down strokes and then we'll have a look and see whether we've got any residue left. Now this glass is dirty still on the outside, so it's difficult to actually pick this up with the video. But from what I can see there, I'm hoping you can not see it as well, there is no residue left on that piece of glass. I think whatever we can see is dirt on the outside. Probably you should have cleaned your windows first, Dave. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to leave this until tomorrow, probably about the same sort of time, 9pm tomorrow night. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get the truck out from outside, in from outside again and see whether we have any of the fogging issues again. And then we'll see whether it's any good or not. Now I did promise you another tip to help with fogging on the inside of cars. Um, this is one I did on my old Focus. Um, and to be honest, I just haven't got around to doing it in this one. Um, and that is... Use an old sock. 
get some silica crystal cat litter. Now this is the stuff. It's not like normal rock cat litter. It's the yeah, it's the silica stuff. So the, the bit with the blue the blue bits in. And um, it's like crystals. Fill that with that. Create that. And chuck it under your seat. That will hopefully absorb a lot of the moisture. Now I am going to take that out in a minute just so we can keep this uh, this fog test going. Um, but that'll definitely get back in over winter, and it's definitely good to have just in case you do get any any fogging or, or dampness in the car. Um, don't forget, you don't have to have dodgy seals or anything like that to get dampness. It can come in off off you if it's been raining outside. You know your car instantly mists up. So that is a good a good piece of uh, bodgery to have in your car over winter. Hope you like that. So I'll see you tomorrow night. So as promised, 24 hours later, just got the big beast inside, um, and you know what? I am uh, I'm over the moon with with this uh, anti fog product. Yeah, uh, I'll take you around and look at the glass in a minute, but it's the same sort of time as last night, so it's exactly 24 hours later. And you saw the sort of fogging that I was getting yesterday. No such issues today. Exactly the same sort of weather outside, the same temperature, um, and I've had no problems at all with this tonight. So I think it's pretty much job done. Product's done its job, so we'll go have a look around the glass now, and I'll come back to you in a minute. So this is how we are tonight. There's been no wiping of that glass on the inside. There's been no heaters on, nothing at all. And, uh, and that seems to have done an absolute brilliant job. What a contrast compared to yesterday. Same thing on the side windows, absolutely nothing at all, we'll open these up. No fog in there whatsoever. This is usually where I get the worst of it, in the back. Nothing at all. What a job that has done. Done. So final thought. So final thoughts time on this TAC anti-fog glass coating. What can I say? Uh, last week I gave TAC Systems product an absolute roasting. This week, not so. You've done a good one here, guys. Uh, this one in comparison with TAC Systems Moonlight, I would put up there as a product I will definitely be keeping, definitely be using again. As you can see from the bottle, 100 mil, I've probably used less than 10 mil to do the entire of the inside of this car. Not exactly small amounts of glass. You get all the kit you need to apply it. Don't forget your little tip with the uh, slicing down the sides there. You get a microfiber cloth. And then don't forget your little cat sock trick. So that'll be going back in tonight to help keep, uh, help keep some of that moisture under control. Uh, again, the glass cloth, the finishing cloth from Into Detailing. I've got the tack fog from Into Detailing as well. So thank you to Imran and the guys up there. Um, I know I gave one of the tack systems an absolute beast in last week, but this week, not so. It's a great, great product, this one. I uh, recommend anybody with any sort of moisture, say issues, it doesn't have to be issues, but anybody with any sort of moisture problems in the car, go and get this stuff. It'll sort you out overnight, instantly great 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 product i'm more than happy with it as you can see from the glass there's absolutely no hint of fogging in there at all now so yeah uh nine pound nine pound yeah nine pound well spent considering i've used less than a tenth you're probably talking 80 pence let's call it 80 pence to sort out to sort out my issue in there yeah, I'm blown away great product sack tax systems thumbs up from me this week 
as always guys thank you for watching i really do appreciate your time if you've got any other um any other anti-fogging hints tips products that you use uh, that you think are better than this or on par with this chuck them in the comments below it's uh, it's becoming a, quite a little community now that we're building hopefully all you guys can start talking together and we'll start sharing some uh, hints tips tricks and it'll all go towards helping this channel grow so but thank you guys i'll see you next week on next week's video catch you later